In this video, we're going to talk about cysteine biosynthesis. Now, uh, cysteine biosynthesis is something that does occur in humans. Now, there is another pathway which I cover in a different playlist. This playlist that is right here is about non-essential amino acids, and that means humans can make them. So this is a purely human playlist that I'm talking about. When we start going into other essential amino acids, I have a different playlist for that. And there's another pathway that makes cysteine for those organisms. But for us, this is what we do. Okay? Turns out that serine is going to be ultimately be converted to cysteine, and it's going to occur through a two-step enzymatic process. Serine is going to react with a, a molecule that we've seen before in the SAM cycle, homocysteine. All right, homocysteine is a precursor also to methionine. However, homocysteine and serine are going to combine or be condensed by a pyridoxal phosphate-dependent enzyme, cystathionine beta-synthase, and give us this molecule cystathionine. Notice we get an elimination of water. This OH group is lost as water, and we condense homocysteine and serine. And then we're going to split them apart, but at a different point, by cystathionine gamma lyase, a hydrolytic PLP-dependent enzyme. And that's going to give us cysteine, the amino acid, thus that's the biosynthesis of it. And then alpha-ketobutyrate, now, alpha-ketobutyrate is going to go into a different pathway. Um, suffice it to say, this molecule is going to go into three-carbon uh, fatty acid metabolism through a series of reactions. And we have another video on that somewhere on the channel. Okay. Now, one of the things that's very important to notice about both of these enzymes that convert serine to cysteine is that they're both pyridoxal phosphate, or PLP-dependent enzymes. Now, pyridoxal phosphate is derived from pyridoxine, which is vitamin B6. Okay, it's one of the B vitamins, and vitamin B6 is a molecule or a vitamin that we cannot make ourselves. In other words, it is an essential nutrient. It's an essential vitamin that we have to get through the diet. So, as a result of that, if we were B6 deficient, we're not going to be able to do this transformation very well, and so cysteine production by us is going to go sharply down. So that's another reason why you want, want to make sure you get your B vitamins, adequate amounts of those, particularly pyridoxine, because PLP is required for both of these enzymes. If you don't have them, you're not going to be making cysteine. Okay? So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. In the next few videos, we're actually going to go over a series of kind of cool topics, at least I think they're cool. We're going to go over selenocysteine function and, and biosynthesis, and then we're also going to do taurine biosynthesis. And after that, we're going to do some other topics. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.